Okay. So good evening, Yusuf. How are you? I'm okay. All right. So so please, can we meet you? Can we know who you are? Sorry? Can we meet you? Can we know your names? And what do you do? Okay. So my name is Yusuf and uh I'm in charge of the <clears throat> DevOps team at Alluvia. Okay. okay. Okay, so so you so you didn't give us your surname, so you are the lead DevOps team for Alluvium. Yes. Okay. Well, so you so recently, just recently, the CEO, co-CEO of Alluvium Technologies, um, JT Ojo, he announced to us that there's a strategic partnership between Amazon Web Services and Alluvium Technologies. That what? Um, let's look at. When you say strategic, what's what's how large is this? What exactly does this um, partnership entail? Okay, <clears throat> so um, AWS, as you know, is the um, technological arm of Amazon, the gigantic actually. Yeah, AWS is the largest arm of Amazon in terms of like. Uh, profitability and sales. They are one of the major contributors, one of the largest, rather, one of the major contributors to the profitability and of Amazon. And it is also a major web um, services provider for the internet in general. Uh, they are the largest, they are the largest provider by market share, dwarfing the other competitors. So this makes it a, <clears throat> a relevant target for any uh any so any company or any venture to delve into the DevOps space as it makes sense for a target, but it gives us the largest surface area for services as well as clients I'll provide since a lot of companies already use this so already use this platform. So AWS that's services AWS has a partnership program where they validate and partner with companies that have proven companies and organizations that have proven their abilities to offer certain services for clients and customers that want to use the Amazon web platform. So let's for example, they cater to clients that do not necessarily have the either the <clears throat> the time or resource to invest in directly having in-house management. AWS services. So if a company wants to make use of services on AWS, but they do not want to, or maybe they are not willing to at that point devote full resources to building a solution from scratch on the platform, they can reach out to partners. They can reach out to known organizations, known exes on AWS. So the partnership program is a way for Amazon to vet and validate these partners so that Amazon, essentially Amazon saying, oh, we know those guys, they are good at this. So anyone who wants to work on AWS can go to them because Amazon has proven that they know what they are doing. So that's actually what the partnership program is. So there are a number of tiers with the partnership program. But they're not tiers, but paths. So there's the software path, there's the services path, and there's hardware path. For our partnership, we opted for the software path as that aligned with our current usage of the platform. In particular, we've developed a number of applications for the Atlassian marketplace for Jira. So Atlassian is an Australian company that produces enterprise software for companies, for organizations that work with project management. Their largest to their flagship product is Jira which is a product management tool. So we currently develop software that interfaces with Jira on Atlassian's platform. And we make use of AWS services to host these um, products, this software. So our, our process for partnering with Amazon included us applying for the software path of the partnership okay. and that we submitted a technical review that showed that our internal processes as our internal processes within 
uh, AWS environment with regards to deployment and operations, as well as other critical processes that are relevant to our services for the geo applications, while up to the standard required by Amazon and proves that we are able to provide such services at scale without within <clears throat> within stated goals for our customers. Mm -hmm. So in validating this, sorry, Jeff. No, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Okay. In validating this, we uh, acquired a badge, a the qualified software badge from Amazon Web Services that proves that we are an organization that are able to deploy software, software services on AWS and are able to offer those services to any clients that need that need such expertise. Mm. Now, Yusuf, when we look at um, this partnership, we look at Alluvium's role, you know, as a global ICT tech company, a cloud computing company, and we look at how, you know, strategic Amazon is when you're talking about cloud services. And, and we, mm -hmm. we come down here to Africa, you know, when we look at Alluvium, the owners, the CEOs of Alluvium are Nigerians who operate in the global sphere, but we're looking at what does this mean for the tech world, I'm talking. I'm looking at globally, and also for Africa as a whole. How strategic is this partnership between the two companies? Okay. <clears throat> um. So I'm. Um, I'm not particularly sure about um what kinds of impacts it might have on the global scale. Okay. But... Let me let me rephrase it now. Let me rephrase okay. it. We know that Alluvium is what is an ICT tech company. It's a growing concern. It's owned by Nigerians. We know how much it's um, major. Some of his major ac activities or business dealings circle around cloud computing services. You know, migration services. We look at Amazon's web service and how strategic it also is on the global scene. So we're looking at this too. What does it mean for companies or businesses globally and on the African market? Okay, <clears throat> so. For any kinds of businesses, organizations, or of any kind, private, public, government, institutional, or otherwise, it means that they have a partner, they have potential clients, or sorry, rather, <clears throat> they have a, how do I mean, a potential vendor that is able to provide them cloud community services that make use of Amazon's global scale. That, so, this means that they have someone that they can entrust their operations to, someone they can entrust their software stack to, knowing fully well that it's going to um it's going to be in line with global best practices of cloud computing and other cloud uh, technology standards. Sorry, I think you're uh, Mike is muted. Like the, the co-CEO spoke earlier on, you know, when he was talking about it globally, he says it's a big win for Africa. But at this point now, I'm more, I'm very, very concerned, and which I emphasized in the last question I asked you. It, it, it's how strategic it, is this partnership for businesses in Africa and Nigeria? Because we look at the services that AWS offers, and just like you indicated earlier on when you were speaking, you talked about how you know, how large Amazon is itself and how we needed trusted teams to work on the African continent and the Nigerian space, you know. So what does this mean? Uh, um, it, are you saying that Alluvium has become a trusted retailer in the in, in that chain of web service uh, pro provision? So what does yes, this mean so... for African businesses? You know, <clears throat> I, I'm sure some of these services that uh, Amazon Web is offering, would definitely businesses on the African continent and in Nigeria would need these services. So how strategic is it for them? Before this partnership, what was obtained and what mm -hmm. has changed? What will change for businesses now that this partnership has taken place? Okay. So this, I think it's just a, <clears throat> sorry, it's a step forward for accessibility and choice as well as options. So, like I said previously, it's not it doesn't mean it did not mean that um businesses or companies could not access those services. What just previously meant they would need they would have needed to either 
train or employ their own permanent staff or teams that will need to get integrated and understand the stack and then maintain those teams. So what that means now is that we have, what this partnership means is that you have a local team, an ongoing team that are Nigerians, but are trained in world-class technologies. So we're able to bring those services for, we're able to offer those services to our own local businesses, to our own people, so to speak, to our own um, fellow Nigerians and Africans on the continent. Actually, correctly now, these services that used to be offered by AWS were services that hitherto companies had to travel all the way down to maybe the United States or to the UK or to Europe to get. But with what you're explaining now, it means that Nigerians and Nigerian engineers remotely are now getting to work for AWS. So, so hitherto these services, people, need, companies, and businesses needed to make partnerships across you know, Atlantic yeah. zones or timelines or time zones. But these services can now be offered by engineers remotely, even here in Nigeria. Is that what you're saying, if I get you correctly? Uh, not, sorry, not in so many, not that specifically. So they, they were, sorry, they, they could always access those services. But then the, the accessibility and validation step wasn't there. So that meant, if just if I give an example of let's say you are a university, this is an example. You have a university that wants to build out a portal and they need sorry, that's great. Sorry, a minute. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. So, as I was saying, uh, so as I said, if we take an example of, let's say, a university that wants to build out its student portal, student and staff portal, and they they feel like <clears throat> they want to make use of Amazon Web Services for a number of reasons, either like scalability, security, or any of the other great things Amazon Web Services offers to their customers they would require someone who has knowledge or expertise to either become part of the staff or otherwise train them or some kind of arrangement. Okay. What this partnership for us offers is it offers us to be someone to come in and ease that process. So as opposed to trying to say, oh, <clears throat> uh, let's hire someone, let's interview them. How do we know what they're doing? How do we test them out? You can just take a look at this and say, see, Amazon trusts us. Amazon has tested us and we've passed and we've proven ourselves to them. And we're a Nigerian company. So that means we can send our staff to come there on the ground to speak to your people face to face to understand the requirements. So, but then you don't have to commit to having to hire someone on staff and going through the interview process. You can have someone, you can have us help you acquire and deploy those services at scale to help you achieve your goals, to help them achieve your goals. So what, so let's, in our portal example, we can build out the portal and host Amazon. But we might not even work on building the portal. We can bring in others who are, <clears throat> we can either build it or have someone else build it if they have specific requirements that those other people can meet up with. And then we just focus on deployment and hosting and scalability. And these services more accessible. So for... basically, uh, Alluvium is stepping in now to make that process more easier. You make yes. it more easier. So hitherto, what would have taken uh, Amazon to maybe recruit ground staff to work with that with a company that needs the services and all that, Alluvium coming in now has just shortened the whole time for for from inception to delivery of that. Process. That was uh yes. So. It's it serves the this thing serves the same purpose as um certificates. I think it's something like thinking of if you try to think of it in terms of let's say university certificates or any kind of certificate of um uh, authenticity or or skill, is that before the certificate existed, you would have people who would claim to have these skills, but there was no sort of surefire way to be sure that oh this person knew it. So 
it's mostly on faith and say, oh, okay, do you know this? Oh, yeah, you say you know this. Okay, can you show it? Can you prove it? But then with a certificate system, you sort of introduced a way to validate some things. It's sort of like today in in just Nigeria or, or so to speak, you, if you have someone who has passed a certain level of exam and is able to present that certificate, that tells you some things about what they can do. So that means you don't have to ask them. When you're interviewing a Nigerian candidate and the candidate comes in with a BSc, you don't ask them, can you speak English? Because their certificate proves that they've gone through an education that required them to speak English. Okay. That means you can focus on other things. So that's what our partnership tells us. You don't need to ask us, do you know AWS? That's where they answered. So the mm -hmm. questions are other things like, oh, how can we interact with you? How do our people talk to your people? You can forget about the technical, uh, not necessarily forget about it, but you can rest assured about the technical aspect that is taken care of. And we can focus on the people and communicating to people directly and offer them the services that they require. Okay, so you're saying that this, this partnership is something like a, a certification for Alluvium that they can handle these processes and that um, on behalf of Amazon and that you, you as a customer company or a client, you don't have to go through all this, this stress to get these services because Alluvium is now Amazon certified to handle these services. I, I think yes. that's that correct, okay? Okay. Yes. So now, let's look at what does, now, when you talk about this, now, we're looking at the engineers also with, work with Alluvium. Does this give them some extra uh, challenge to be able to get certified are there certifications that they need to achieve to be able to get some? Uh, would there be upgrades to this as time goes on? That, that's a so, very big question. Yes, so that's a good question. So within the partnership program with AWS, within the different tracks, there are a number of specializations that can be sought out. So we can also make more progress to get more specialized certifications that tell that say, instead of just saying, oh, we're good at building software on AWS, we can get certifications that say, oh, we're good, we're good at building machine learning software specifically on AWS. So that's a more specific certification that tells you more about what we're able to do. So there are there's still some, <clears throat> there are still areas for improvement and specialization as time goes on. So let's look, let's look at, I'm looking at a win-win situation now. As, as it is, businesses across the African timeline and even Nigeria, what does this mean? What How does this spur efficiency for businesses on the continent and Nigeria? How does this ensure, how does this uh, AWS partnership ensure that businesses can, you can, these services, business can render these services or business can work in a very short time. So does it, does it reduce the man hours uh, that would have taken to, to for some of these services to work in all these uh, these firms and businesses. So there's um just to say, there's a saying within the both the software and just general development pipeline is that you have fast, you have good, and you have cheap. You pick two. So our goal isn't necessarily to aim for any of them. The point okay. is to provide our services and enable you to cut down where you can and make improvements as required. So if your challenge is scale, that it's back to our example for the um school portal. A number of universities, like if you speak to anyone who went to a federal university of sorts that learn a balloting system, they would tell you about the outages that happen when students attempt to ballot because some universities employ a balloting system where students have to log in on this on a given date and click on a button at a certain time to book their uh, slots, their slots to pay for housing within the university. And this time, this time, these servers for the university are incredibly underpowered to serve the amount of traffic that they are hosting at that point in time. So a service that we could offer is auto scaling for just maybe it's a week. For that one week, we offer auto scaling for them. So we're not saving them particularly time. But we're helping everyone get a better service overall. We're not saying, no, we're saving your time, we're saving your manpower. The goal is to have a better service overall, both for the university staff operating the um, in charge of the infrastructure and the system, and for the university students that are trying to ballot and get into the system. So we can then have a more holistic discussion around what we are trading and what we are hoping to get out of it. 
But the clear goal is that we have improvements to offer, whether it's in time or in efficiency, or just in general, making a service possible that wasn't possible before. So there are some sort of, <clears throat> there are some ministries and some government agencies that do not have some kind of digital, that don't have proper digital and accessible records. So in that case, we can provide those services to help them increase accessibility for their records, increase auditing, and reduce um, risks such as, let's say there's a fire, a flood or something that causes their locally stored like paper records to be destroyed permanently. We can have digital backups that they can refer back to as required. So. I'd like to say thank you very much for having my time this evening. I think I'll be able to put one or two together for what we just spoke about now. But, um, well, I, if I have any other questions, I think I'll just get back to you by telephone or message. Thank you so much for having my time this evening. Thank you so much. Of course. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Do have a wonderful evening. You too. Mm -hmm. Take care.